All right, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the agent dashboard. So on the left-hand side of your screen, you're going to see a phone icon. And if you hover over it, you're going to see a few subsections appear. The top one will be the agent dashboard. So let's click on that one. Now, you're going to be asked to sign in as an agent ready to take calls. Not only that, though, you're going to have to select where you want to take calls from. Remember, this could be a specific desk or an office, but for right now, I'm going to select the remote laptop that I'm using. Um, this will allow you to use the agent dashboard. So in a particular situation, I'm going to be using my laptop as the phone. So if a call comes in, I can handle all the calls from my laptop with a headset. Uh, in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see the name Track. Now this is where your company's name will be displayed. And to the right of that, you're going to see a couple icons. The little phone in a black box, that icon is for calls waiting in your personal queue. So if somebody calls and another agent answers and the person on the other line says, you know, I need to speak with you know, so-and-so, they want to speak with me, so they get transferred to me. And then we'll see a red number one within this icon. Or if it's two calls waiting in my personal queue, it'll be a two, red two. Um, the black box with the white envelope is the open leads that are assigned to you, meaning any leads that you are currently working on. Maybe they're waiting to call or talk, call you back for whatever reason, but all open leads will appear up here. The chat bubble icons indicate recent leads, recent activity on your leads. This would be any activity on your leads that you didn't do yourself. This could include any time that someone assigned a lead to you. Maybe another agent takes a call and they're about to go on vacation, so they assign the lead to you. Pretty much anything that pops up on here will be a result of recent activity. Now you'll also notice that the icons up here mirror the icons in this blue header. Activity, leads, calls, you'll see an agent icon over here. Next to the login buttons, you're going to see a make a call button. Now when you click on it, you might be required to select a caller ID, and then you'll have to type the number in yourself. That's a real quick overview of the main page on the agent dashboard.